They said you wouldn't make it so far on And ever since they said it, it's been hard But never mind the night you had to cry Cause you had never let it go inside You worked real hard and you know exactly what you want and need So believe and you can never give up You can reach your goal I'm Olivia Malachi. Have you done anything to better the life of people living with disability? Do not discriminate or harm people living with disability. My name is Oprah Beauty. My name is Apoemi Abiyotu. My name is Chiamaka OKK. My name is Naruga Stanley Yopunemi. My name is Ejiro Sharon Okoti. I'm from Anambra State. A graduate of Anambra State University. I studied computer science. Mm, my disability is, I noticed it 2004 when I was having difficulty in running and climbing staircase. I am from Emma State. I love modeling. I'm a makeup artist and I'm a building businesswoman. I'm 16 years old and living in wheat. I am I am a student. I love Barbie hair. I have a fresh white gold so that's me with defense. I'm the CEO and founder of the Hope Inspired Foundation for Women and Youth. It's an organization that was established to promote and protect the rights of women and girls, including those with disabilities. We stand for inclusion and we always want a situation where these women can have an enabling environment to thrive in society. Hi, I am 14 years old. I am living with dancing, dancing drum. I I am a student. I, I love making hair. I, I have an extra commercial. That's, that's my bit different. So um, as time keeps going, keeps becoming worse. I don't swallow in self-pity or ever wish that my heart was not amputated or cry because others are living to us. That makes me different. Diagnosis of muscular dystrophy 2004 in, in Lagos State University Teaching Hospital, Diaraba, which they referred me to go to India for treatment. Um, when I went to India, they told me that um, it doesn't have a cure. So I came back to Nigeria, and that don't know me that I'm on my own, I have to look for what else to do without being dependent of somebody else. So I am visually impaired and I lost my sight to meningitis at age 11. It must be different. I, after my NYC, I, I went in search of a job and with my condition, no one can employ me. So I had to look for something else to do on my own that would fetch me money. So I went online doing researches overnight. Then I discovered importation from China. So I gave it a try and that is what is keeping me up now till today. That is the, that is what brought up stands of three collections. I'm different because I I think I've discovered myself, who I am, where I'm headed in my life, and I've decided to I have I've tried as much as I can to make a difference in my world in my own little way. So that's what makes me different. Uh, I would love to learn um, uh, business management and uh, also. Um, um, online marketing in order to build myself for my business and um, more popularity for my brand. So in terms of skills, it's quite a lot. I am somebody that likes to venture into so many things and one of my recent flair is broadcasting. So I'd love to get some skills around broadcasting because I hope to, I'm playing around an idea in my head. Um, to do a TV program to promote women with disabilities rights and so I'd love to get some skills around broadcasting 
of journalism as the case may be and I love to also improve my counseling skills because of the work that I do as well. It helped me to do a better delivery at the job that I do. I never allow my disability get to my way get on my way, sorry. Um, because I do what I I do what I gotta do. Anything I won't do, now I go do. I don't care. If my disability my disability is my selling point. Mm -hmm. So I look my I look at myself like every other human being. So my disability never gets in my way. Um, it's not something that you can pretend is not a part of your life. But as much as possible, I try to live above it in every way possible. I try to to forge ahead, look ahead, and basically le leverage on the resources around me because. We, as persons with disabilities, are not superhumans. That's one thing people should understand. We're human beings just like every other person. We all have our limitations. And sometimes our disability place, places additional limitations on us. But as much as possible, I try to make use of the resources around me to reduce the effect of some of those limitations around me. And that helps me every day to live above my disability. Oh, my disability gets in my way. Because if you look around you, you will see that every other person is disabled in one way or the other. It could be the way they talk. It may not be amputation or any other thing, but it could be the way they talk, the way they respond, every other way. Everyone is disabled in one way or the other. People living with disabilities should come out of their shell. I've been receiving messages about how are they going, how do I do this, that um, they are very happy seeing me doing this, that they can't come out. You have to look for a way to come out from your shell and let the world see you. So you know what 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 the world have for you out there. Um, and we, people think we are living in disability. No, don't diss our ability. I would love to develop my makeup training and I believe that Lambo Disability Center will help me achieve that. According to Judge Gray, inclusion is a right and not a privilege for a selected few. And Jesse Jackson says, if everyone is included, then everybody wins. The Lamont um, Training Center will benefit me and other people living with their disabilities with the training they are offering to people living with disabilities. Training of all sorts, whatever you want to learn, you come there, they will take care of you, they will teach you.